Let's try to find the LCM of 30 and 20 using the prime factorization method. As the name says, we need to reduce the number to its prime factors. 30 can be written as 2 times 3 times 5 and 20 can be written as 2 times 2 times 5. To find the HCF, we just took the factors that are common to both the numbers and then multiplied them. But while finding the LCM, it is always better to write the factors in exponential form. Since there are two 2's here, we can write this as 2 squared multiplied by 5. To find the LCM, we have to multiply the highest powers of each factor. There are three factors to be considered here, 2, 3 and 5. Let's write the LCM here. The first factor is 2 and 2 squared is higher than 2. So we write a 2 squared here. The next factor is 3. Did you notice? 3 exists in 30 but not in 20. So we just write down this 3 here. Remember, for LCM, the factors need not be shared. We have to consider all factors shared or not. Here's one way in which you can look at it. We can also multiply this with 3 raised to 0 because it is 1. And amongst 3 raised to 0 and 3 raised to 1, 3 raised to 1 is greater. So we write a 3 here. And the last factor is 5. We have a 5 raised to 1 here as well as here. As both have the same power, we write it as is. This is 4 times 3 times 5 which equals 60. You should note that we are considering the highest power of each factor, whether it is shared or not. We will find the LCM of 12 and 16 using the same technique.